Guys, what is up? Today I have two listing appointments. It's about 10 a.m. I'm heading to the first one, which is actually about 45 minutes away, which is why I just bought a brand new Prius because I was driving around so much. So thank you guys on a trip. The first one, I was supposed to meet with them last week and I was like really sick, had to reschedule. So luckily they rescheduled. So just got to the office, went and grabbed all the paperwork that my assistant put together. And usually I'll go with a listing agreement and then a CMA time when I think about the house and all that. And then the other house is crazy situation person called me from out of state and their mother passed away so there's a relative that apparently left a bunch of personal property in the house i have to go by there he wants me to see how bad it is there's no access to the house oh yeah he forgot to mention well he told me that the house doesn't have a driveway so this should be a really interesting day all while i'm also trying to juggle several other appointments so I'm gonna take you guys on my daily vlog here, Day in Life from the Realtor. Let's keep going. Here's the thing, right, with these appointments, like you don't even know like what you're walking into, like what type of person it is, what their personality is like. So you gotta really be able to talk to people, go through and see what they're looking for and go over your marketing presentation. So it's always definitely nerve wracking when you're going to a stranger's house to meet with them in their own house that they're used to talk about selling it. And there's always a ton of emotion. So I definitely get a little nervous and making my way there and then I'm kind of just thinking about the house, look at the comps and all that, to see what I think it could be worth because the prices here have been rising like crazy. And you know what though? It's also slowing down a little bit. So sometimes people can think their house is worth a million dollars and you tell them it's not. Sasquatch walking right there. All right, so I just left the appointment, went really well, really nice people. They're gonna be moving in the area, staying in the area. House is very secluded, which is fine. A lot of people like that. So whenever a marketing presentation, whenever some comps, show them a net sheet, all that, they're gonna think it over. They're interviewed a couple different realtors. Next, I'm heading to another listing appointment. This house is the interesting one where someone passed away a couple years ago. The guy just got it all figured out. And he thinks someone's squatting and leaving some stuff in the house. And he's all about in Utah. He's not gonna be here. So he wants me to go check out the house. So on to the next one. And this house out here is pretty secluded. So one thing to think about, definitely if you're a real estate agent, like we gotta be constantly always be on. So like when I was there, there was no cell service. And I literally came back to like 20 some text messages, a bunch of emails. And I'm always like in the lead generation business, trying to see what is coming in, like who wants to buy, who wants to sell, and you gotta have great follow-ups. So with those people, what I'll end up doing is calling my assistant. We mail them out some brownies, tell them that it's nice to meet you. Um, we're actually having a client party, which I'll be sending them an invitation as well. And then they wanted a net sheet, which shows them what they will walk away with after the house sells. So you kind of always gotta be on with the follow-up. Fortune is in the follow-ups. All right, well, I just got to the house. Dude, look at this driveway to get up to it. And then look what I'm driving right now. I have my Prius. And yeah, um, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get up this driveway and not in the best shape at the moment. So I don't know how much I'm gonna be walking here. So let's go up and see if I can even find this house. I mean, I'm gonna have to drive like a Bigfoot monster truck to drive up in this thing. Yeah, so I can't even get to this house. It's like way far. Luckily, my assistant drives a big four by four truck with like monster truck tires. So we're gonna need that to get in here, which is gonna be a problem if you go to sell because you've gotta be able to drive up and down the driveway. Um, we are in like in horse country like where all the wineries are. So it's a really nice area, but man, it might be a tough sell. Off back to the office all right now i'm at the car wash because my car got so dirty from doing that so i'm gonna go back to the office give him a call see what's going on and then i'm gonna get made fun of my assistant because she always makes fun of this prius that i drive so whatever here she is the vehicle i need to get to that house Perfect timing. Well, guess what just happened? I went to a house, driveway, not possible. Exactly. Is that, yeah, it was like, so we need your monster truck to drive. I set another appointment in Bristow. I set that one for Friday. Oh. Then I'm gonna set, I set another one for Bristow. Yes. So I yeah, like and the guy like said that he met with me 10 years ago. So I was like, dude, how can you not remember me? You know what I'm saying, right? So, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> so anyways, Vanessa's been driving around giving out gifts for our pop buys to get more referrals and our client party and all that. The 10 year guy definitely needs one. The 10 year guy, yeah, yeah. Like he yeah. definitely needs one this week. So then we add everybody to our database and all that so it'll definitely be good how'd everything go for you it went good it went good went 
yeah. did a little driving and yeah. worked on some stuff here. So. And then we got the Chris Colgan. Yes. Infamous Chris Colgan. Like, out of all these people in here, I'm probably the most badass looking on there. Definitely better than Mario Lopez, not Stone Cold, though. Yeah, so Casey just, our other agent who's not here, it's like, about to have a baby literally, like, next week, it feels like. She just got another contract. There's where she, like, writes everything down that she gets going on. So she's been killing it lately when she actually works and, like, shows up to the office. <laughs> all right, so now I'm about to call this guy that I couldn't get up to the house and let him know. He's all the way out in Utah. Hello, it's Rex. Hey, what's going on, man? It's Chris Colgan. Hey. <laughs> Not much. How you doing? Good. So I, I tried to make it up to that house. Didn't have much luck. The driveway was pretty bad. So just got done talking to the guy with the house that I can't get into. Big change of things. Obviously, I can't talk about it on camera. Sounds pretty ugly, like an ugly situation with some siblings or something like that. So go and give him an information to a lawyer. On to the next one. Vanessa just sent out some stuff for the appointment I met with today, and we're going to be following up with them. So... It's now two o'clock, back to the grind. And by the way, Casey keeps bragging to me about the contract that she got. <laughs> she just wrote me and said, I told you I'm good. So the ego in real estate, huge. So I wanna show you my home office because this is where I do a lot of my work. If you're wanting to be like a full-time agent, definitely gotta have the double monitors and like you're gonna be prospecting all the time, the webcam, I do so many different Zoom calls, all that. So a lot of times like I come home, I work from here. The one thing I will tell you is like, try not to be stuck in a home office all day. Like I go out a lot all the time on appointments. And if you're a new agent, especially like you don't wanna be like sitting at home all the time or like on the computer all the time, you gotta be in front of people, in front of appointments. But having this nice home office setup, honestly, which I was always against being a home office agent, this was definitely huge for me like with my business because it allowed me to kind of like step up and do things more things from home and get a lot more things done it's almost five o'clock i'm still sitting here prospecting following up i just added a new listing appointment which triggers my assistant to make paperwork and everything and then i gotta make the cma and then tomorrow at noon i'll show you guys i'm gonna be talking to a customer about a price for her house we just got the listing agreement signed on that one and most of these you probably will ask like they're coming from me being pretty relentless with follow-up i don't do a lot of expired calling or for sale by owner calling or anything like that i'm just constantly like following up with people if i meet them i add them to my database i throw client parties i'm doing this almost 20 years damn 20 years Woo! so good thing one of my buyer agents has sent me a new ratified contract for four hundred thousand. one of the main things i look for is like where did the lead come from so i looked up the, the buyer's name and he came from a Google ad that I had created. So like for me, like tracking is definitely huge in real estate, like knowing what works and what doesn't work. And we are tremendously crazy on the follow-up because um, to me, fortune is in the follow-up and real estate. And I'm looking and we followed up with this guy for three or four months. And you heard me say earlier in the vlog that I got a listing appointment from someone who met with me 10 years ago. So for 10 years, I've consistently kept in touch with people. So fortune is in the follow-up. So definitely pumped about that. And then we just keep on grinding. I've got a virtual person right now contacting leads as well. And I see plenty of people hitting us back. Like someone just said they want to buy a house for 400,000. So fortune's in the follow-up. As I say, I, I think I made that up. Working on that. And then, you know, it's like, oh, at 3.15, I've been on all these appointments. I haven't even had time to sit down and check my email. And it's like, I usually have my email box emptied out, but it's all still full of stuff. But the main thing I got to do now is hop in our lead system called Boomtown. And that's like where I follow up with everybody. So you can see all these people have texted me, eight minutes, 10 minutes, 27 minutes, 47 minutes, 53 minutes. So I have all these leads and follow up to do it still. And it's still just 315. So I got a lot left to do. I got Sinatra up in my office, my microphone lighting. So now let's get some lead generation on, see if I can get some appointments. And also I gotta get ready for some other appointments. So a lot going on still. All right. I hope you enjoyed the vlog today. As you can tell, a very busy day. Definitely subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna keep these daily vlogs going. As always, we'll see you at the top or from the top. Peace.